So today's topic finally it's been what almost an hour and or almost an hour. So guys, this 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 went viral yesterday or a couple of days ago on Twitter uh, slash X, and uh, obviously guys, we are not me watching today. Me watching is a crime, I think, because listen, bro, if you can watch a man's meat, you're weird, bro. Granted though, people talked about this topic with Drake over Palestine, what's going on over there, and they made the whole headlines for a couple of days, even trending right now. And I think for most people, this is hot news because it's Drake. But think about it logically, guys. If you're a guy yourself, right, and you send news to a girl, what could happen to you as that guy? And if you do send news to a girl, why are you doing that? And again, I think for most people here that do send news to, to girls especially, uh, you don't keep, keep in mind that like you can actually become a victim because they could blackmail you, try to ex uh, expose you and do, do for like a ransom. They could either ruin your name or your business. But to a bigger uh, note here as well, this woman that I want to say released this uh, video of Drake can be sued because, I mean, bro, that's revenge corn. So it is a lot going on there with that topic. But we have a video to react to as well. What? Which I think, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. We have a take over. Uh, which I think highlights <laughs> this because people have been going crazy, especially men, by the way. I don't understand it. Oh, me watching should oh. be a crime, like I said before. But me, me watching someone's wee wee, bro, is weird to me. You're a grown man. Focus on yourself. We got going on. Bro. But to me, watch other men is weird, bro. That's like you are sitting there, yo, my refresh. I'm looking at your dick, bro. Where's it going next? Is it going to her? Going to her? Come on, bro. Like, that's weird, bro. That's really weird. Um, Bang. I think for most people, though, bro, you got it? Yeah. Oh, ready to go, guys, for the video. So uh, any comments on that before we do uh, the video? No, nah, we can watch it. This no. is a Long Beach no, no, video. I, uh, comment, bro. Before you scare the people. No, uh, no, no, huh? No, I'll, I'll, no I, after, bro. I want to hear it, man. After, man. It's Drake's leaks, man. But bro, what the? Let's hear it. Come on, man. What let's, do you think, bro? Let's play the video, bro. You saw it? Let's play the video. No, I didn't see it. Actually, oh, didn't you sure? It. No. I didn't. But you're on Twitter. Right. Yeah, I, I didn't see it. <laughs> Have you seen Drake dick? <laughs> <laughs> what? Drake's dick. Okay? His golden bone is all over Twitter. Everybody on TikTok talking about the six godly cock. How is breaking the internet, the man? Bus, Come on, bus, catch bus, up, bus, bus. bro. Shit. Yo, what? Griffey. Pause, my nigga. Uh -huh. He was like, the six got cock. Uh -huh. What the fuck, bro? And then start continue. That was fucking weird. What the fuck? Bigger than Black History Month, dog. The dick or the situation? Yes. Bro, oh my fucking God. Niggas are so fucking stupid. They talking about his shit wasn't beefy. What are you saying? Hold on, nigga. I'm responding. Nigga, Drake, built like a red wood log. What? Pause. What? Hashtag. Pause. What? Yo, I can't believe this, bro. There's niggas right now on Twitter slash X reposting tweets about Drake's wee wee. Bro, what the fuck is going on with society, bro? And there's a whole war going on. What word about Drake's wee wee? Isn't that crazy? It is wild, man. Yo, what the? F okay, let's continue, bro. It's wild. Lumberjack Aubrey. Arguing over Drake meat is crazy. Oh my God! Bro, I'm getting mad, bro. You shouldn't be. Bro, I just hate when niggas are spreading misinformation about other niggas' dicks. That's weird. Why are you going so hard for this? I'ma ride my favorite rapper meat, nigga! What? Ain't nobody gonna say nothing negative about Drizzy the Stallion. Nobody's calling him that. <laughs> what? Not yet, they ain't. Yeah, what? The world need to see what 11 inches on soft look like. Do they? His dick gonna be in fifth grade history books. What? Watch. What? Legendary. Bigger what? than Hitler. No. Bro, you just a hater. Drake dick so big, it slapped me through the phone when I seen it. What? Pause. Shit so big, it made What the hell, what? Can we comment on what he said? <laughs> Drake the Stallion? What the yeah, fuck, bro? Man. Yo, yo, Mo, am I tripping? Drake the Stallion? Yo, come on, bro. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Anyhow, that was uh, the video. Listen, man. I think we can talk about better stuff, of course. Um, but it's funny, funny that, like, in this case, this took the attention and the world stage. His weaving. Come on, bro. Like, we got to stop this, man. Me watching is at an all-time high, and it's weird, bro. It is absolutely weird. But on a brighter note, I would say, or a shorter note, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs>
<laughs> What's more important <laughs> is that we understand, guys, so the funny. issue <laughs> with sending out news to girls, <laughs> and we don't know the context of what might happen after the fact. So, me personally, guys, I don't send nudes. If you want to see my wee-wee, you'll see it in person. But that's the only way you're going to see it. <laughs> now, granted, like I said before, there's blackmail, there's fraud, there's exposing that can be done. And I know guys, personally speaking, guys, that actually sent girls nudes, and they say, yo, if you don't want me to expose you, give me some money. And they did it because it's like they have a business, family, kids. It's like, bro, that can mess up your whole career with some leaks. So by all means, guys, this is a, it's funny in, in a sense, but like it's serious because if you send girls news, bro, you don't know what can happen as the after effect. So I wrote down some notes here. So what can we learn from this situation? Because obviously, right, like, you know, ha ha ha, right? Drake got exposed, but there's something to learn from this, right? Yeah. Um, guys, lesson learned. Number one, don't send photos of your dick to girls, bro, ever, no. under any circumstance. <sighs> All right? Just don't do it, guys. So many guys send dick pics to girls and think it's funny or attractive or whatever. Don't fucking do it. All right? Don't do it. And then worse yet, don't do it where your face is, is, is visible. And then the second thing I want to say is, because here's the thing. Niggas aren't going to listen to me when I say don't send a dick pic or whatever. So you know what? For you guys out there that don't want, don't want to listen to me, this is what you do if you're going to go ahead and send these stupid-ass videos or photos of yourself, right? Make sure that if you're going to send that, it's either A, your face isn't in it, okay, or B, the girl that you're sending it to is a chick that you smashed and you're plowing her and you could look like a porn star doing it, so she will look crazy for sending it out. You need to make it where she's not incentivized to put it out there and make you look crazy, all right? So that's what it is. Don't send a dick pic. And if you are going to send her some type of video that's sexual, you better be fucking plowing her, all right, so that she looks crazy if she puts it out on the internet because you have to uh, de-incentivize her to do that and put you in a weird situation. So that's what it comes down to, guys, because people always, a lot of times, they don't want to do things that put themselves in a situation where they're going to look crazy. So she's going to be less likely to leak it if she does that. And the other thing, too, bro, if you got, like, an image to protect or you're famous or whatever, like, bro, just don't send this shit, man. Like, guys, like, come on, man. Like, I'm shocked that Drake even sent, like, sent a, I didn't see the video, so I don't fucking know. But from what I've been told, it's him whacking it. I don't know why the fuck you would even send that to a chick, bro. What's wrong with you? You're Drake, dog. Like, yeah. Like, I, I, I'm, like, confused. Like, like what the why? Fuck? Like, yeah. But you know what's cra crazy, though? Let's say I would have sent that to my wife, yeah. let alone a bitch that he was probably just smashing. Let's say the argument is she's far away. You know, I haven't seen her in a while. I've been smashing her for a minute. The problem is, bro, that chick or that shorty you're talking to, she might love you in a moment or care about you in a moment. But let's say you piss her off. Let's say, for example, she wants clothes. Let's say she's t bored and tired of being like the side chick. Oh, nigga, if you don't do what I say, I'm going to expose you. And you never, you never know, I, bro. I guarantee you guys. Before she leaked it, she hit him up and said, yo, I want 100000 I want a million. That's crazy. Or else I'm going to leak this. She's not stupid, bro. Yeah. Girls always do this shit. We've seen it done with Chris Brown, right, where this girl said, I'm going to come out with, you know, great ballot accusations on a boat. Yeah. Right? She wanted to pay off. We saw this with Cassie and Diddy saying that she was trafficked by Diddy. but the, uh, And she went to him. She sued him for a bunch of money, and she was able to get a settlement. Uh, we saw this with Omar Gooding, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah. Like, all these celebs, bro. What do these girls do? Oh, I know that you got some money, etc. They're always going to come to you first. Hell, Vince McMahon? Bro, Vince McMahon spent like a million dollars on this fucking bitch. He tells her, oh, my wife Linda McMahon found out about our relationship. I have to cut things. Okay? What does she do? She immediately goes and does a fucking uh, lawsuit suing him saying that she was trafficked and she, trafficked and she was a victim. But... He gave her a $20,000 surgery. He bought her a brand new BMW. He took her to um, fancy dinners. He uh, paid for her spa stuff. He's giving her money, giving her gifts, sending her roses every other week like a big bouquet of flowers. Like, she was, she was getting all these fucking benefits. But as soon as he stopped, um, and on top of that, he gave her $2 million mm. to, to, to basically not say anything, to be quiet, right? And he had her sign an NDA. But once, once that money dried up, because she probably spent it like an idiot... What does she do? She comes back with a lawsuit claiming that she's going to break the NDA and that she was trafficked and she's a victim now. But this is what they do, guys, when they don't get what they want. So I guarantee you, this fucking chick said, yo, I got this video of you whacking it. You better fucking pay me. Drake Price said, you know what? Pound sand. And she put it out. And that's what happens, guys. Which is so if you're going to have sex videos that these bitches have access to, it better be sex videos that make her look crazy.
her, you know, sucking you or some shit like that, whatever, so that she gonna look wild if she puts it out. Which is why hush money don't work. Don't. And if she's upset, she'll turn on you in an instant, bro. Yeah. So, I mean, just don't send it at all. Just don't, Period, yeah, bro. bro. Like, I don't Nothing. know why. Cause, cause, and here's the thing. Yeah. I had to give it that like that because some of these niggas are going to send dick pics anyway and they're going to send bro, videos anyway. Here's they're the not going to listen to us. So, no, oh, oh. make sure it makes her look crazy if she puts it out. True. But here's Insurance. Better, here's a better line. Listen, you want to see it? You'll see it in person. Done. Yeah. Oh, but what? Nah. We'll see the person. I've never once sent a dick pic to a girl. Not for, one time, bro. Not one time. not one time in my life, bro. Not, not one nigga, time in my life. She can feel the rod no. for her soul, not nigga, one. in person. Feel me? Guys, women are not, not visual like me? us, bro. BBC gang, nigga. They're just not. What the fuck going on, nigga? <laughs> BBC gang. They're just what? not, bro. Wait, they're what? Not, they're not visual like men, man. So, guys, just don't get caught slipping, man. Yeah. I'll send a sex video to a chick, but if she put that shit out, she go look crazy. Wait, so, <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yo, yeah, you brave, dog. You what? Oh, wait a minute. Yo. I know who it is. What? Which one? <laughs> you put it on camera now. No, nigga. Don't, no, no, I'm not saying you put the mute on I, I, I know the uh, scenario. Put it, put it this way. If they were to ever put anything, if yeah. they were to ever put some shit, they're going to look stupid. Yo, I remember now. <laughs> I, know, I know who it is, bro. Well, at least one of them. <laughs> Cause she was like, okay, come no, on, man, pause, man. Yeah, no, no, cause, cause come on, man. Oh no, yeah, me, me not. Come on, man. Hey, yo, it's funny, cause but uh, yeah, yeah. But that's my insurance policy. Like, I, you know, I, I said, I'm like, oh, she's like, oh, send me that video. I'll send her the one that makes her look the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Yeah, bitch, if you put this Listen shit out, you, you gonna look stupid. You whore. Yeah, you no, gonna look kidding. stupid. And here's the other thing, too, that I wanted to say as well that's really fucking crazy about this. Could you imagine if, the, if it was the other way around and... He put out a video of her. Oh, he's done. It, like, done, bro. Yeah. Like, yo, he, yo, I hope he sues this bitch into the ground, bro. I literally, cause he has a case. And this is the definition of revenge porn. And did he respond to anything? Cause honestly, I didn't. He I put on his story. He said something about like I, I had the world for my meat or some shit. Is that him though? Yeah, it was from his champagne poppy one. Someone has a screenshot somewhere probably. Mm. He put it on his thing and then he took it, took it down on his story. Someone, uh, I had seen it while I was scrolling, but, um, but yeah, bro. Like guys, like. The lesson to learn from this is, step one, don't send dick pics to girls, okay, or videos of yourself whacking off. Step two, if you're going to have uh, any type of video or anything that you're going to send to the fucking chick, make sure it's a video that compromises her as well, so she is not incentivized to put it out. Step three, if you're famous or you got some money or you have an image, bro, please just don't send anything, yeah. man, okay? It's better off that way, you know, uh, and then uh, what else? Um, unless, you know, of course, it's making her look crazy, because uh, then she ain't going to put it out. And then the next one is um, just know that you guys don't get you don't get the benefit from the double standard. You can see here that this woman put this video, this shit out, and now I haven't seen anyone post about how um, this is illegal. Yeah, uh, she should have been um, she should be prosecuted this for this, case. or she should be sued. Like not one person mentioned a case. It's probably us and maybe a handful of other creators that even mentioned that like, yo, this should be uh, this girl should be fucking you know. Suit. Deal with some conse legal yeah. consequences, whether it's criminal or civil, but at least civil. Case has a very Drake has a very strong civil case against this woman now. So um That's crazy. Yeah, That's bro. Because if it was the other way around, that nigga would be in jail right now. If you put yo, if you put out that video of her doing some shit, niggas would be at his front door right now. RCMP, FBI, they all go <laughs> Nigga, I'll be pissed, bro. Bro. FBI, oh, open up. You know, I don't know where uh, he, he has a crib in LA, right? He, li he lives. He lives here most of the time. I don't know. Where he he probably got a crib in Toronto too. But yeah. But yeah, bro. You best believe, bro. It would be RCMP and FBI at this nigga front door. Promise you, because he's Canadian national. That's why I say that. Mm. But yeah, bro. It, this is fucking wild shit, man. That uh, that girls get away with. But that's just what it is, man. It's a double standard that doesn't benefit us guys, where girls can literally embarrass you sexually. And they're not going to deal with no consequences. But on the other hand, you can sit there and have consensual sex with them and they can come back two years after the fact and fucking sue you. Just like with Vince McMahon. People can say whatever the fuck they want to say about Vince McMahon. But if you actually read the complaint and you saw she what was involved. She was all for it. Bro, she was all for that and shit, And if she bro. wasn't, she could have went to the cops 100% consensual, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, that's another big red flag. If they don't go to the police and they only launch a civil case, come on, man. What ends up happening nine out of ten times is it was consensual. The girl regrets it after the fact because the guy didn't continue the relationship the money with stopped. them. Or the money stopped. Yep. And then they say, you know what? Fuck this shit. I, I know I live in an era where I can go ahead and uh, make a logic complaint against you. And they're going to take me seriously and believe me no matter what I say. Thanks to me too. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to get a bag out of it. Because all of these fucking uh, chicks, they always contact the person before they go public. And then what ends up happening a lot of times is the guy says, go pound sand. And the woman sues. Yo. Jean E. Carroll, right? I think her name is Jean E. Carroll. The chick that accused Trump. Bro, 
she literally went on um, Anderson Cooper shit and said rape isn't physical. Oh well, hold on. Do I got to take this off? Yeah. Which ones do I have to take off? Switch. Yeah, it's it's whatever, bro. All right. Fuck hey, what you getting off Twitch? Yeah. Like, okay. Notice they can do that. Do? Cool. With a straight face. Like think about that, yo. She literally went on cool. there. I have it on my Twitter. <laughs> yo, this chick is. Cr you know what? I almost cool. kind of want to show the clip real quick, just to show you guys. Um, it, it 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 was it was all over the place. It's we've shown it before actually. Uh, it, it, Bills, can you go on my Twitter real quick and scroll, and you'll see Anderson Cooper with Anderson Jeannie. Cooper? Bro, she literally said it's not physical. But if you look at the definition of the crime, it's, you know, obviously penetration that forced. So you're sitting here making a very serious accusation, a very serious crime, a heinous crime, that is, by definition, literal legal definition, physical. But you're saying it's not physical? How the fuck can I give you any type of credibility on your accusation now? Think about that, guys. That's the world we live in now. We got chicks running around with book. By the way, she did a book tour right after she made the accusation, FYI. Back in like 2017, she did a whole fucking book tour. Money. And talked about it. She yeah. What she did was this. She's smart. She made the accusation, got a bunch of buzz. After she made the accusation, she put out an excerpt from her book about that particular situation. It went crazy, right? She said, okay, cool. Since there's a demand, I'm going to release a book and do a tour. She did a whole fucking book tour off of it. And now Trump got to pay like 83 million or some crazy shit like that. Damn, bro. Because he didn't take the civil, he didn't take it seriously. Yeah, he was, he was like, he whatever. He was like, man, fuck this shit. Yeah, at the, I remember, I remember. nigga said at the deposition, uh, she's not my type. <laughs> <laughs> real bad, yeah, 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 real, real, bad real man. nigga, man. Wrong. Yo, real I, bad I, man. That shit was fucking funny. He yeah. said, yeah, she's not my type. When he, yeah. looked, he looked at a picture of her like, nah, I would never. And I thought that shit was hilarious. But he didn't take the deposition seriously, so the court looked at it like, all right, bro, you ain't gonna take this shit seriously. Boom. We we're gonna fucking hit, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hit you with the thing. And remember, guys, it's a civil case, it's not criminal. So when it's a civil case, they only gotta prove preponderance of the evidence. Forty one to forty nine percent to fifty one percent. So and she bro, and you you know what the scary part is? She went on CNN with Anderson Cooper in front of millions of people and said that shit. And no one bats an eye. Because what? She's a woman. Mine is this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One second. Yo. Bro, Bro, I was fucking shocked. Don't worry, it's clean. It's clean. Yeah, niggas all worried. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, 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 yeah it's I'm, clean. I'm putting it on Firefox now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're going to play the clip for you guys here in a second. But, bro, but this, is what, this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Like, you know, to bring this all back with the Drake situation. This woman who leaked this, more than likely, because Drake knows probably who it is. He knows exactly who it is, right? Uh, unless, unless he sent out a, a mass, mass thing. Him. But I, I doubt it, because if it was a mass thing, it would have been leaked way before. So I so it, I guarantee you he knows the chick that got this, right? It's probably a chick that was uh, that he deals with consistently if he sent a shit like that, that he trusted too, right? Because I would argue that Drake, Drake has some semblance of personal security because it's he's been in the game for how long? Since like 2008, 2009? A minute. And he, and he, had, he just recently got, this is like the first time he's been, I would say there's two been, been, been two big exposés of fre of uh that's a fresh of Drake, um, his kid hiding his kid that was Pusha T right, and then uh just now with this shit so he's done a pretty damn good job of hiding shit. I'll tell you this though, niggas say that Drake is not black. He's a nigga, bro. Hiding his kid. Pause, man. Oh, 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 hide, oh okay. Oh, yeah. oh, he's a God. nigga, bro. Oh, bro, thank, what are you talking about? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you, oh no, no, no! Don't do that to thank me, bro. God, bro. Come on, man. Oh. All right, we got it. Uh, Bill. Yeah, I got it. All right, let's play the clip. Just, this is just to show y'all the crazy clown world that we're in. This is the well, chick look, that made the accusation. Drake's been in the game for a long time. Yeah. Play it. <laughs> bro. Oh, oh, my God. Which the word rape carries so many sexual. Connotation. This was not. This was not sexual. Hell no. It just. It. It hurt. It just. What. It just. How did you it know? Hurt? I think most people think of rape as a. I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not. I think sexual. most people think of rape as being sexy. Mm. What? Let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. <laughs> We're just going to take a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> You're fascinating to talk to. <laughs> Nigga, she's crazy, bro. Like bro. a victim. Nigga, she's a was psycho. Did you guys hear that? Yo. But she said rape is not sexual. Nigga, she's psycho, bro. Bro. Yo, he had that nigga stuttering like. Yeah. Let's take a break. Yeah, we got to take a break what real quick. Because keep in mind, CNN yeah, doesn't fuck with Trump. 
right? So they brought her on for a reason. Yeah. So so when she said that shit, she basically just proved that he was innocent right then and there. Nigga, she looks crazy saying that shit though for real. Yeah. Anderson Cooper was like, that nigga, she had him he on his back like, foot. He was like, yo, I got to step back on, on this one. <laughs> it's not for <laughs> me. Nigga was like, wait, hold oh, oh, on. Wait. Because I guarantee you they brought her on to, to shit on Trump, make him look crazy, because CNN hates Trump. Yeah. Right? They're obviously left-leaning news organization, right? Mainstream media. So when she did that shit, oh, yeah, rape isn't sexual. Wait, what, bitch? Yeah. That, by definition, it is. That's how, it, that's how you prove the elements of the crime. But that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Girls don't have to prove shit. They can literally say dumb shit like that. Rape isn't sexual. Or they could get million dollars worth of gifts, millions of dollars worth of gifts, and then come back after the fact and say that they were assaulted. So, bro, hopefully, I think Drake should sue her into the ground, but don't be surprised if he doesn't, and don't be surprised if this woman doesn't deal with any legal consequences. So what do I say all that for? Lesson learned, my friends. You are not going to experience the same level of protection from the law as a female will. So don't put yourself in a compromising situation. And if you are going to do it, make sure you're plowing her and she looks crazy. This might sound crazy. What? <laughs> I had a, re a revelation just now, like a real revelation. Yeah. What if you did a, I want to say, measure of prevention before this happened to you? Mm -hmm. Now, hear me out here. Hear me out. Sounds crazy, but this is like a darker side of like preventing this to happen to you. What if you had some girls back in the day and one of them may come back with some random allegation, right? What if you turn the other direction? And you became one of them. What if you became a woman yourself? Oh. What if you actually said, you know what? Fuck but, this shit. Let's play ball. I'm not a woman. And, you, and, and then you come up with that accusation? And you fight back. Yeah. And you say they graved you? No, no. You defend yourself by saying you're a woman. You're, like, you're, you're, you're no longer a man now. Mm. Does that help or no? Maybe Might be crazy enough to work. Because in California, I feel like that'll work. Maybe in California. You never know. It's random, but like, hey, fight back. I'm That's, a woman too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you never know. So it's crazy, but hey, it's a hack, bro. It might actually work. <laughs> Call me crazy, but it Maybe might That's work. why no one ever came out against Bruce Jenner. <laughs> you know that nigga was smashing chicks in the 70s. Woman of the year. Back when he was a dude. Woman of the year. He was an Olympic athlete. You know he was crazy, smashing them bro. chicks. Nigga said, oh, there's 10 girls about to testify against me. Fuck it, I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, whatever works, bro. It ain't going to hit the same if they make an accusation then. Right? Exactly. It won't. They'll be serious at that point. Yeah, that'll make them look crazy. Mm -hmm. dead. Oh, you smash this nigga? He's a chick. Oh. And then I can call upon <laughs> what community to back, to back me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Girls going to look crazy. Hear me out. It might be crazy if, enough. If I become that, my community can back me now, which is the T community. Uh -huh. How are you going to fight that? Yeah. You can't fight, you can't fight us. <laughs> We're one. Transformers. Yeah. Not oh, me, by the way. I'm saying in general. But yeah. That's probably why Jenner didn't get nothing, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Self-defense. You know that hey, nigga man, was smashing early. these hoes back start in the 70s. Early, bro. You know it. Like, what was he? It was like an Olympic athlete, right? Like a runner or some shit? Yeah, track star? Runner, runner. Everything. Yeah. yeah, he was a track star, man. So he was definitely getting chicks, man. But no accusations came against him. I wonder why. He had the ultimate karma. His, his daughter was a big asshole. Which one? Kim. Well, oh, oh, but that's his stepdaughter, though, right? Stepdaughter. Isn't that his oh, stepdaughter? It is? Oh, well, either way, still his daughter. I mean, still L. Yeah. But. Still L all together. I mean, that whole family's an L, bro. If I'm going to keep, keep it a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. The Kardashians. They cause like, so much destruction. Like, you know, I, I would see people always like like to use like Kim Kardashian, like, oh, that's a success story, et cetera. Bro, no, it's not, man. Like, Kim Kardashian is, is the biggest L, I would say, L female. And people don't see, like, that shit comes at a cost. Like, you, you've seen, how many times has she cried now? Because of her kids seeing her sex videos. Or her not being able to maintain a, a, a relationship. She's had like, what, five failed marriages? Like, she cries all the time. And you, you've said it yourself. Like, you, how many times have you seen these OF girls cry behind the scenes? A lot. It looks good on camera. It looks good in person. But dude, when they're home... There's, there's a... Uh, Cause what? You, know, you know what's happening, bro? They're trying to cope with drugs, alcohol. There's and this chick. She just OD'd. The, the porn star, she just OD'd. What's her name? Uh, I don't... Uh, I forget her name. I tweeted about it. What? Someone posted it. Uh, she Fair OD'd, enough. bro. Like, yo, I'm telling y'all, man. Like, yo, depressed, bro. They, they, these chicks cannot. What's her name? Sustain it's being three first. They can't do it. Her name is. Uh... Actually, there's a new study that came out. One of the girls sent it to me that was on the panel recently. Emily Willis. The, Emily Willis. Willis. Yeah. the, the least happy demographic of female, and they've updated this. It was, it was found in 2011. They found it again recently. Is women in their 40s that are childless and career oriented. Least happy demographic of people, bro, in the U.S. 
guys, please don't send. And you being in porn? Video pics to girls. Absolutely increases your likelihood of becoming that 40-year-old woman that is single with no kids. It just doesn't work. Look at uh, what's, what's Riley Reed. Riley Reed. Yeah. Like she can't, she can't even have a relationship with her father. Her whole family cut her off. Bro, it's sad, bro. Like just being like there, like Mia Khalifa can't hold down a man. It, it's sad, bro. Because you know you're fucked at that point, bro. Yep. And then you've seen it yourself. What you know? Yeah. How many OF girls have you seen cry? Two, Two. or three. Two. Yeah. Damn. Uh, don't worry, bro. I'm helping their tears. After. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, this is just well, part that's of the game, bro. That you've actually like witnessed it though. I'm able to intercept in the enemy camp. You know what I mean? You what? I do some damage. Wink, wink. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, moving on smartly. So, any more that's crazy. They cried though. Yeah, oh. bro. So, oh, oh my god, bro. What can I do to change this? You're fucked, bitch. <laughs> okay. Oh, they, oh, they, they asked. <laughs> <laughs> they, what, what do you say? What do you want me to say? It, no, bro. no. What do you really say? Uh, well, like, right. keep it a thousand. <laughs> She's crying to you, and she said, "What can I do to change this? What is you? What do you actually say back?" Listen, man. This could go on me line one. I listen, man. I can't say that. I can't, I can't, okay, I'll say it, bro. I, I'm just like, yo, listen. I understand what you're going through. I, w- I wish things were different. I know you did it for a reason. Like, you needed money or, like, you know, uh, things were rough. But to be honest, this, this is tough for you because you can't delete those videos off the internet. They're going to come back to you. So what do you do? Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I talk to them, tell them, like, like what it is. And um, that's in a cool way where it's not, like, too demeaning. But I feel like they understand on some level what they've done. But to cope with it, it's drugs or alcohol, which is crazy because, like, bro, your whole life is you coping with this, I want to say, Substance. success and this, like, cloud. Ask any stripper, bro. They're all alcoholics. They all do all drugs. All drugs. You know what I mean? Like, all, every, Dude, every single one of them. Go to met. an AVN convention or a corner convention, they're all on drugs. Imagine random niggas touching your butt, like, random niggas coming up to you. Like, it's weird, bro. It is weird. I went with Zerka, remember, uh, a while ago? I went Mizurka oh, and um Oh I didn't Oh what, shit What's his name? Y'all went to AVN? Mizurka and Adam from American Income. Yeah, we went a while ago. Not AVN, uh, a different one. Uh I forgot what it's called. Anyhow. Okay. It was uh, here in Miami? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was crazy, bro. They were all on drugs. Crazy, Damn. dog. Yeah. It's it's sad, man. Yeah. Hey, it's fun, it's, it's fun to watch though. Fresh used to see a chick that was like a former OF chick. Yeah. Uh as a side hey, man, chick. And, we, yeah. and she and she would introduce him to all her friends and then they, they, that's how he Y'all make fun of me, bro? But hey, man, I love the hoes, man. Uh, yeah. What can I say, bro? Love the yeah. hoes. But he he saw the inside of like what the fuck is really going on, bro. Like these chicks behind the scenes. I can tell you firsthand, crying, bro. bro. I can do a whole whole like video about this shit, bro. But I, I yeah, yeah. Funny part is like it's it's all the, the whether you're sugar baby, you're fucking the, stripper, that whole all that industry shit. itself. Yeah, bro. They're, you're kind of screwed, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> all right. Uh, 